Today, we're making lemon cheesecake cups that are gluten-free. In my last video, we made lemon curd, and you're gonna to wanna to check that out. I'll leave a link for you in the description. And we're gonna use that in this recipe. It is very quick and easy to make, and it's delicious, and it has just the right amount of sweet and tart flavor. You're gonna love it. With our lemon cheesecake cups that we're making today, there is no baking involved. We're just gonna mix it all up. It's very quick and easy, and we'll pop it in the fridge, and it's good to go. I'm also gonna show you the best graham crackers to use that are gluten-free, because I've tried quite a few different brands, and I've come down to the very best one that you wanna use. All right, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. The next person that asked me for some pineapple juice, cranberry juice, lemonade, and a slice of orange all in the same glass is gonna get a punch. So to start with, this is what our cheesecake cups are gonna look like. I'm using these plastic containers and they work great for individual servings. And so we're gonna to need to make our crust there in the bottom that you see there. And we only need two ingredients to do that. We're gonna use some Kerrygold butter, which is grass fed. And we're gonna use Simple Mills, Sweet Thins, Honey, Cinnamon, Little Graham Crackers. And they are the best I've ever had. And check out the ingredients here. They are really good. They're nice and clean. And like I said, these things taste really good. You want to pour those into a food processor and just grind them up so that they look nice and fine like this. And for the butter, we're just going to place that in the microwave. And I just melt it on, say, 30 seconds on power level three and then just stir it up and see how it is. So we'll pour those graham crackers into a bowl, add the butter, and then just stir it until it looks like wet sand. You just want to make sure that all the graham crackers get moistened by the butter. So this adds a nice buttery flavor. Now we'll just add a nice heaping spoonful into the bottom of each cup. You're going to want to push the graham cracker crumbs down into the bottom of the cup. You know, you can use the spoon, you can use your fingers, you can even use a glass to push them down. You don't have to pack it down really tight, but just, you know, make it somewhat firm. Using a glass worked okay, but I really found using my fingers to work the best for me. Now we're ready to start the cheesecake portion. Our first order of business here is to juice some Meyer lemons. Now, if you can find Meyer lemons, they are really the best ones to use for this recipe. And they are in season between, you know, you can get them in the stores like between December and May. So we'll go ahead and juice about a half a cup's worth of lemon juice. Now in a large bowl, we're gonna to toss in 24 ounces of full fat cream cheese. Blend that up with a hand mixer or a KitchenAid until it's nice and creamy and fluffy. It always works best to leave your cream cheese out on the counter for a good half hour before you even start mixing so it can soften up. Now we need to add some vanilla extract to this and some salt to bring out some good flavor. Now to get some really good lemon flavor into this, we're gonna use that lemon curd that we made in the previous video. So go ahead and add some of that. Now here's that lemon juice that we squeezed a little bit earlier. And let's give that a real good mix. And be sure to use a spatula to scrape down the bowl as you're mixing so everything gets really well combined. You want this mixture to end up nice and creamy and smooth. Now we need to sweeten this up with a little bit of powdered sugar. So we're gonna add it a little bit at a time. I think you can see that with e each addition of sugar, this mixture gets smoother and smoother. And now I'll just continue alternating between a little more lemon juice and a little more sugar until it's all mixed in. Once we get everything all mixed in, we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna mix up some whipping cream. It's time for chef joke number two. Who helped the lemon rob a bank? His partner in lime. All right, for our whipping cream, I am using Clover Organic Whipping Cream here and it is, in my opinion, the best. Look at the ingredients. There's only one. Pour that into a large mixing bowl and then I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and about a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna mix this on high speed until we get some nice stiff peaks. The whipping cream should look something like this, nice and stiff. And now we're gonna add this, we're gonna fold it into our lemon cheesecake filling. Now look at that, doesn't that look really good? 
So here's how you fold something in, all right? It's pretty much start in the middle, scoop it up and just rotate it over and you do it gently so you don't deflate that whipping cream. We want it to stay nice and light and fluffy. So just keep going like this until everything looks gently mixed in. You're not gonna see big globs of whipping cream because it's all gonna be blended. Now we're ready to fill those cups. Isn't this one of the easiest desserts you've ever seen? I mean, you just mix it all together and put it in the cups and then it goes in the refrigerator. This is a pretty rich dessert. Don't feel like you have to fill the cup up all the way. It's about nine ounces, which would be quite a bit of dessert. And this is really rich and just decadent. So fill it up like I did here. And then I topped it with a little more fresh lemon curd, which is just incredible. Feel free to garnish these. Here I'm using blueberries on top, but you could use strawberries, you know, whatever you like. Blackberries would be nice. You could even put a little mint leaf on there for some color and you're good to go. I took these lemon cheesecake cups to a bunko party one time and I tell you they were a hit. Everybody loved them and we had a great time and really enjoyed eating them. So if you want to learn how to play bunko with your friends and have a great time, click the link on the screen and I'll show you how to do it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.